Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got a uh, yo, we got a summer Walker man in uh, what they call the cultural appropriation situation. You follow what I'm saying, man? Chris Brown reflecting on his past beef with Soldier Boy, man. Um, uh, we got the game's name for his firstborn son being inspired by none other than Jim Jones, man. We got um, uh, Big Boy, what's going down with him? The bad news that hit Ludacris's manager, man. What's going down with him? And we got Beyonce, man, showing the. The double T's, man. You know what I'm saying? On the album cover, man. We're going to talk about that in a sec. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you're any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that, too. All right, yo, check this out, man. Um, where we at over here, man? Um, uh, yo, yo, your, boy, your boy's been sending these in late, man. So, yo, man, shout out to the source, man, for getting these late recordings and still working this magic, man. You know, I, I tell you, man, it's, it all comes from the source. You follow what I'm saying, man? Hey, yo, check this out, man. The game has, um, look, 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 look. I like, I like covering stories like this because I think it's monumental, man. When the artists, you know what I'm saying, represent their children and stuff like that, show their human side, man, so you can remember that they not just entertain, entertainers, but they humans as well. You follow what I'm saying, man? Uh, the game has posted uh, this birthday shout out to his son. He said 19 years ago, right? Uh, the lovely lady told him that she was pregnant. Okay, first time I ever heard that from anyone in my life in reference to myself. Took me hours to stop her from crying by telling her everything I was go everything was gonna be fine and that I had her. You know, a lot of dudes be having to do this, man. We be trying to tell the ladies like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 don't worry, it's gonna be good. With and we don't know what the hell we talking about. You know what I mean? He said, honestly, I didn't even know if I could keep that promise, but I made it anyway. Ooh, let me turn on the AC, it's starting to get out of here. Uh, he said, um, uh, her biggest concern was, who's gonna tell my moms? He goes, if you knew her mother, you would understand why neither of us wanted that task. But being a man, I walked to the doorway of the room and yelled, Mom! She replied yes, while my heart was pounding, like it was going to beat out my chest. Yo, this situa situation happens all the time. I, I love the fact that he's even telling us this. He said, Alaska's pregnant. She said, Alaska's what? I'm over here like, yo, bro, you supposed to ease in, man. You ain't supposed to just be throwing it out there like that. Mom goes, Alaska's what? I'm like, damn, I got to say it again. Yes, game, you got to say it again. Why did you even, this man started on 10. He goes, so I do. She gets up out the bed, grabs her keys, leaves the house and doesn't return for hours. That's an appropriate reaction. Uh, look, actually, he got, he got lucky. You know how many moms lead with a fist? You know what I'm saying? A slap, a, a slipper. Anyway, um. He goes, she didn't talk to us for the next few days. And when she finally did, she asked me, well, what you going to do to take care of my daughter and this baby? Because gang banging and selling drugs ain't going to do it. I replied with empty, empty confidence. He said, by the time he's born, I'm going to be a rapper with millions. Can you imagine being a mother and hearing that as the response? She looked at me and said, show me. He said, I hit the streets, recorded my demo. Wait, is this guy got a leash? Damn, look how long the leash is. This is a police dog. He said, I hit the streets. Where am I at? I hit the streets. Damn, where am I at? I hit the streets, recorded my demo, slept in my car on Melrose, passed out my CDs, and did everything I could to get signed. And it paid off because by the time June 30th, 2003 came, I had a multi-million dollar record deal with Aftermath um, and, and Interscope. Happy birthday, son. Be this is beautiful stuff right here, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, I named you Harlem because that's the first place Jim Jones took my took me my first time in New York when I landed at JFK. You are the best son, person, older brother, oh my gosh, that I could ever ask for. Thank you for letting me teach you the way and also for becoming all that I raised you to be. You are my best friend, my world, and an absolute better version of me happy birthday firstborn i love you dad you see that man it, it's not i love you game it's i love you dad you follow what i'm saying man this is beautiful stuff right here and i'm glad i spent the amount of time that i spent on this man because it's a beautiful thing we need to see these artists as humans more frequently man i love it you know what i'm saying Shout out to the game, son, man. Shout out to the game for doing that, man. And, and you know, and just showing that he had a man up. Because a lot of dudes in the streets, man, they need to see the deep, yo, they need to see the fellas manning up and taking care of these kids, man, like we supposed to. 
You follow what I'm saying, man? This is beautiful stuff right here, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to them for doing that. Um, uh, now, listen up. As you already know, Chris Brown is making his rounds, uh, breaking down some of the past beefs um, that he's had. And he and he was asked about his tension with none other than Soldier Boy. You know what I mean? Take a listen to what Chris Brown had to say about his beef with Soldier Boy. Take a listen. Let's take it from the beginning, right? Yeah, because bro. we just had Joel Santana on. Yeah, bro, scared. And Joel said... I thought I was the first person to run it, but then Bow Wow said. Right now, so, so, you know, Shad is my brother, man, but Shad be capped sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love Shad. But nah, he was actually. When you say Shad, you talking about. So he, he definitely was the first. I'm talking about person who said, look, look, you wanna get on tour? You wanna, mm. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Like, he was not a hater. It was a lot of uh, singers out, there was a lot of other people that was kind of little. Bow was like the first one. But when we did run it, it was like. We did run it, like I said, in, in, in Hit Factory in Miami, but I was like 14, and he was like, well, who you want to feature? I said, man, Joel Santana. Mm. And that man said, Soldier is a character. <laughs> True words haven't been spoken. He said, but once you get, get to know him, and you know that it's really all love, it's like, you straight, all that ish, I look back on that like, damn, I'm really finna fire blood ish up. Nah, it ain't even worth it. That is just stupid, but it's cool. Everything is all good. Yo, man, that's real talk, man. Y'all you know I mean? Um, uh, look, look, look. That, that reminds me of when Soldier came at Kanye West, and 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 it's like all he wanted was a, an apology from Kanye West. And the beautiful thing is, Kanye West didn't have to apologize for keeping Soldier's joint off the off the album, but he did. And Soldier was like, "That's all I really wanted." You know what I'm saying? It's like family. It's like nothing but family members, man. So, I, you know, this is better than seeing the nonsense that we'd be seeing in the culture. You follow what I'm saying? Hey, yo, hey, yo, have you heard of uh, the Summer Walk Walker fiasco? Uh, apparently, folks saw her outfit on the red carpet and they died. You're like, why? what is it now? Look, look, she she was gorgeous and she was showing off her, her little pregnancy belly. I loved it. Honestly, I loved it. You know what I mean? Look, apparently she wore jewelry based on the Hmong culture who are an indigenous people who lived across Southeast Asia that many deemed disrespectful. They deemed the outfit disrespectful. They said that Walker was not um what they said. Walker was nominated for best female R&B uh, pop artist and BET award this year, although I believe um it went to was it Lotto? Best new female? I think it was best new female was Lotto. Anyway, Walker also recently confirmed rumors that she was pregnant and expressed happiness and peacefulness but folks don't give a cuff about none of that you know what i'm saying because they were accusing her of cultural appropriation i'm like come on man i mean i hate the whole cultural appropriation look listen i don't care if white people wear cornrows man i do not care i don't care man if you're rocking the joint and the joint look incredible but some people are like yo man don't be rocking that joint look we lose jobs because we came in in cornrows but y'all rocking it as a costume hey look i don't care i do not care that's just me and you could be like your celeb well you ain't black enough whatever i don't care if you don't think i'm black enough L plenty of people let me know how black i am when freaking the taxis pass me i don't get the kind of service i deserve when i go to the restaurant can you believe when i go to restaurants with my white friends they get mad at how the waiters treat us because i am there you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's beautiful watching the white people get mad too yeah you know i mean when i'm not getting service but they with me they're like excuse me excuse me we have asked for some uh, uh, service and we haven't gotten any service. And they looking at me, they looking at the white people like, it's because the nigga that you got sitting next to you. Oh, my bad, my, my bad, I didn't mean to say nigga. Um, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. Folks were accuse, accusing uh, Summer Walker of cultural appropriation, right? Uh, I'm over here like, didn't they see the Miss International beauty pageant, man? We here in the United States don't have a culture. Be easy with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. Remember, remember our other vid that we sh when we showed women from various countries repping their culture, and a woman from the United States of America's costume was Wonder Woman. They should have had like Rosie the Riveter. Look, I would. They should have had like the the Statue of Liberty. I heard somebody in the back like they should have had a slave. They all of those things could have represented U USA. You know what I'm saying? They had Wonder Woman. Anyway, people were hypercritical of Summer Walker's sexualization and inappropriate use of culturally significant jewelry, especially after her stylist admitted to borrowing from the Hmong culture. Her stylist responded to the appropriation claims, saying, quote, what's my time looking like? That's not what she said. Okay, the stylist said, quote, 
I am of South Asian heritage. I understand we should have mentioned we should have mentioned the beautiful Hmong culture. I didn't mean to offend any of you. I love to celebrate all the cultures and diversity. I, I, I apologize for not sharing and educating on the history of the Hmong people, and I will further educate myself. Close quote. I, look. I would have preferred a backhanded apology to that. You South Asian, man. Why the hell are you apologizing? I would have been like, yeah, yeah, we did that with Summer Walker's um, outfit. And what? Um, the, the, the statement from uh, the, the, the stylist, they added, I understand a lot of you are offended. That was not my intention at all. It is not our intention to sexualize these pieces, but more of a celebration of life and the beauty of women. Close quote. <laughs> not trying to sexualize. All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Look. I think uh, pregnancy looks stunning on Summer Walker. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I loved Summer before. You know what I mean? But you know, I'm like, wow, she is she is stunning pregnant. Man, did I just did I say, tell you that she's stunning? You're like, yo, can you stop sipping and tell us about Big Boy? Can I do my shout outs first? Sheesh, there's a pushy crowd out here, man. Check this out, man. Shout out to Mike, your favorite's favorite. Wait, my bad. <laughs> Mike, Micah, Mika, Micah, your favorite's favorite. Uh, uh, Shorty said, yo, I watch you every day. And that, and finally, slaps every time. Hey, look, I'm gonna get a shirt that says, and finally, I just gotta have the right artwork for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, a, you know, I'm like, I don't know. I need the right artwork for and finally shirts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, hey, listen, I almost don't care if someone in the, if you make hot shirts, and you start selling and finally shirts. This, this, this hit me on the gram so I could be like, yo, check this person's shirt out, buy their shirts, and then they can make the damn money. My bad. Um, Ivan Watley came through and said, yo, man. Um, and finally, celeb the teacher struggles with pronouncing the words erasure and deviances. Tisk tisk. Well, why the hell did I highlight this comment? Shout out to you, Ivan. Uh, Maury Gatewood said, celeb, you are the source. No, uh, 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 the source. Is the source source that makes the videos is the source source with the idea is the source you see what i'm saying i tell you man we like the trinity man father son and spirit man everything comes from the father you, you follow what i'm saying man i i just bring you the word just like the sun um uh check this out man wiley hydro came through and say yo man um good thing she didn't live in alabama uh because pookie would have been like oh, oh, oh that's what i say yeah. okay, okay okay uh yo my man said yo that was a hell of a punch like yo we appreciate that wiley my man said shout out from my kids and my girl for worrying me if you sauce and the keys done drop a day don't drop every day i think that's what he meant you know what i mean um uh, east texas rapper yo man shout out to you wiley hydro hopefully i read your comment right i don't think i did and uh lastly t champ my man said pete rock with the crying voice hey look I, it, it pained me to do that. I, I said in my head, Pete Rock is a legend. You can't give him the crying voice. Hey, look, man. Real men cry, man. Jesus wept. You know what I'm saying? What is it? John 11:35. Jesus wept. And Jesus is the realest man I know, as far as I'm concerned, man. Some of y'all like, he wasn't real. Yeah, okay. Wait till you see him. Then you go tell. I want those of y'all, that when y'all die, you're going to remember this day. When you die and you see Jesus on the throne of judgment, I want you to tell him to his face, you ain't real. So he can tell you, go downstairs. Let's see how real I am then. You know what I mean? Go downstairs. Go to hell. That's what you're going to say. Anyway, my bad. Um, let, let, let's wrap this bad boy up. My, my fault. This is long enough as it is. Sauce is probably mad at me. I'm sorry, Sauce. I love you. You know so, you know I love you, Sauce. I'm sorry. We're going to do these next three stories quick. Um, in devastating news, former outcast co-MC Big Boy has gotten a divorce from his partner of 20 years. I hate hearing about stories like this. Sh uh, Shalita Patton. Um, I hate hearing stories like this because 20 years, I mean, come on, man. Um, but hey, look, man, people get divorced, they get divorced. Look, like, he, I, look, listen, man, I love family. That's what it is. Court documents show that the couple were in um, court last month and that Big Boy filed for divorce back in April. The filing stated that there was no reasonable hope of reconciliation. And they also added that both agreed not to maltreat, molest, harass, harm or abuse each other in the process i said damn what kind of court like what the hell was going on and uh um, the agreement follows a 2016 prenuptial agreement where they divided their assets and their debts um the two shared children together and the good news is the split is amicable um uh hey yo man I, I hope that um you know things work out and they become maybe great friends seeing that the marriage thing didn't play out so well man you know what i mean uh, look, we're gonna give you that news tomorrow, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, check this out. La lastly, and finally, 
that's a little more appropriate. Listen, um, Beyonce, uh, <laughs> Beyonce broke, broke out the TDs. You know what I'm saying? For her upcoming album cover. You like the TDs? <laughs> you like, I'm like, yes. She, uh, she has a stunning picture of herself on, what is this? Like a, is it a horse with lightning in it? A horse, uh, like a diamond horse? There might be a diamond horse i don't know what this picture means and i you know with beyonce and them they, there's always meaning behind her images and stuff like that and it always scares me to think about what that meaning is but it's a stunning picture of um for, for her new album called renaissance and you know renaissance is more like i think like new beginnings or something like that uh the album drops july 29th it's a beautiful picture of beyonce i'm looking at the pic and i'm like did she always look like this I mean, I knew she was attractive, but my gosh, this is an incredible pick. You know what I mean? you like, well, what are you focused on? I guess I'm focused on uh, how dark the background is. Yes. <laughs> yes. The how dark the background is. You know, makes me think of the the whole thing. Black is king. Right. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of folks are more focused on, um, uh, you know, her, 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 her boobage, man. The size of her, whatchamacallit. See what I'm saying? Um, her, her breasts. I mean, you know. That's what they're concerned about. And I'm like, hey, look, man, like e like most every woman has breasts, man. I mean, are you still shocked by it? You like celeb, you scared to say it. I mean, I just don't feel like having YouTube harass me about it. You know what I mean? Anyway, she posted Act One, uh, Act One Renaissance 729, creating this album. This is what she posted. Creating this album allowed me a place to dream and find escape during a scary time for the world. Um, it allowed me to feel free and adventurous in a time when little else was moving. My intention was to create a safe place, a place without judgment, a place to be free of perfectionism and overthinking, a place to scream, release, feel freedom. It was a beautiful journey of exploration. All these, I, you know what I hate about what, what I'm reading? I hate the fact that I keep, I keep thinking about how much, how, how, I hate to say it, but how rich she is. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, she worked for that money. She earned that money. So the money is rightfully hers. And this is what society deems the value of her work is. They say your work is worth damn near billions of dollars. You know what I mean? But the whole time I'm reading this, I'm like, yo, man. And with those damn near billions of dollars, you can dream. You can be free. You can be adventurous. You can live in a judgment freeze. And my bad. Because uh, I'm like, yo, why are you saddling Beyonce with all of your freaking situations, celeb? Like, yeah, you know, you maybe you should have stripped and got some, you know, boobs and, and did what she did. You might have got paid like she did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe I could have. Some things I'm, it's not worth it to me. Anyway, uh, but but I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not beautiful like her. Anyway, look, a, a place to scream, release, and have talent like a, a place to scream, release, um, feel freedom. It was a beautiful journey of exploration. I hope you find joy in this music. I hope it inspires you to release the wiggle. What the hell is she talking about the wiggle? She goes ha, and to feel as unique, strong, and sexy as you are. Um, that's what she posted. I'm over here like, well, at least she knows your boy celeb is sexy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you know what I'm saying? Goody, good, good. Yeah, you know I mean. Uh, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments, but let me ask you a question, man. Um, how, how do you feel about, yo, what do you think this album, rep, like, what do you think that cover is all about? I love the fact, uh, don't you find it odd that her and Drake both started, like, they came out with an album, they're coming out with music at the same time, and both of them have, like, a house music type of thing? I find that to be kind of odd. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.